to get away and escape and its only defense mechanism is to bite. So. Yes, if you grab a snake, expect to be bitten. Hello from North Georgia. Today I'm sharing an encounter I had with a small king snake in Murray County. Most any wild animal that has a mouth will bite when it is grabbed, so be warned if you threaten a snake by cornering it, it will strike. Snakes do not chase humans or seek them out. Instead, they try to flee. So when a snake is approached by a would-be or could-be predator, they either try to blend into their surroundings, flee, or defend themselves. They want to be left alone. This beautiful snake is a well-known species from the eastern United States, at one time known as the common king snake with several subspecies. A few years back, these subspecies were recognized as distinct species, two of which are found in Georgia. Consequently, their ranges meet in the northwest part of the state. Murray County is just west of the suggested boundary and is within the range of the black king snake. Using this range map from the iNaturalist website, we see that the black king snake is found from the Mississippi River east to Georgia, Tennessee, North Carolina, and West Virginia. This is represented by the pink color. The blue spots indicate recent observations. As we zoom in on the map, we can see that Murray County is just west of the boundary. We also see that no recent observations of black king snake have been reported east of the boundary. Now we go to the range map of the eastern king snake. Its range begins where the black king snake range ends and continues to the Atlantic coast. As we zoom in, we find that there are several recent observations west of the supposed boundary. These are concentrated in northwest Georgia and east central Alabama, three of which are in Murray County where we find our small snake. Most of these observations have been vetted by other herpetologists, so this somewhat creates an area of uncertainty and raises questions of integrating between the two species. Our individual that we found has a pattern that suggests eastern, but it is a small one, most likely a hatchling from this season, and we are in the range of the black. So what do you think? Black or eastern? Comment below. Please like and subscribe for more videos from North Georgia. When we are relocating the reptiles, it's important not to move them too far from the area where you originally found them. Uh, we actually just moved down the hill a few hundred feet into an area where there's plenty of micro habitats. There's... This is a wet area from a spring. Beautiful cardinal flower in bloom, but this is where I released, and there's plenty of micro habitat here for it to enjoy. There is woodland, there is a lot of grassy areas, there's some open areas and there's water which king snakes do prefer.